player Give me some brew and I might just chill But I'm the type to light a light another joint like Cypress Hill I still do be spit loogies when I pump all right, my name is Houston, and I'm back with another pickup. And this is what I picked up from Macari, the Jordan 5 Laney's. I picked these up for $22. And I seen them, and I had to get them because it looked like an easy restoration. And I was going to flip them, but I think I'm going to keep them. I kind of like this colorway. And, uh... I guess the reason he sold them because I guess he it's like a failed restoration or custom because if you look at the paint here look at how the the cut of the leather has paint all over it you see it there too and it's got like caked on uh, paint so I think what I'm gonna do is well first I'm gonna restore the, the whole mid so I'm gonna strip all the paint off and do it redo it repaint it and this paint is called Royal 5 it's a like a bluish purple kind of paint and I guess the guy that had him try to redo it himself and this is how they came they came uh, unlaced and they came with these laces which is wrong <clears throat> and one is longer than the other so those are going in the trash I got the correct laces. They're supposed to be these oval laces, which has stitching on the outside of each side. And I picked up the lace locks. And uh, here's the other shoe. I guess he tried to do a custom on them. Try to do the the sprinkles or speckling of the yellow there. But this is the wrong color blue. This is just regular blue. And you can see it bled out into the upper of the shoe. So I'm going to be stripping this whole shoe down. I think on this one, I might have to do the whole shoe in white because you can see up here it's got paint. I don't know, I might be able to acetone that off because it's got spots everywhere of blue. And right there, you can see some more of it. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to redo this whole midsole. And the top, I think I'm just going to acetone the blue parts out and re, like do some touch-ups on it. Because the shoe's in good shape. It's got a... I got the toe box stuff to get the creasing out. But there's no tears, no separation or anything on them. You can see the tongue is nice and thick. Just look at the back of it. The bottom's a yellow, of course, because of the age. And I don't know if I'm gonna ice the bottom. I think I'm just gonna leave them alone. Just, I think mainly what I'm gonna do is just redo the midsoles and, like I said, touch up the parts that have blue on it. And then I'm gonna start wearing them. Cause I'm starting to like this colorway. I wasn't a fan of it before, but after getting them in hand, they look pretty good. So you can see more or less what it should look like. This one's yellow too on the bottom. And I already have the, the paint for them. This one is called Maze. This yellow here. And the Royal 5. I ordered it on uh, eBay. So it, I checked the tracking number. It said it should be here today. It says out for delivery. So that's pretty much going to do it for the first part of the video. The second part everything will be done on them so I'll see you in a couple seconds after everything's done so yeah um I'll be right back with the finished product all right so these are almost done and here's where I'm at on them on this one I just went over it with the blue paint and the maid and the maze but it's too dark it's not as bright as it should be with this one I used the white base coat and the maze came out it comes out a little bit lighter so I'm gonna have to darken it up maybe two three more coats of it and then this shoe will be done the blues already done so I just need to do this one 
and the shark teeth and maybe two or three more coats of the maze and these will be finished and I got the new lace locks and laces in there so what I'm gonna do is strip the midsole take all this paint off lay down a white base coat of the entire midsole and then redo it with the royal blue and the maize so I'm gonna take care of that and then I'll be back with the finished product alright so we're back with the finished product and here's how they turned out and you can remember all this was painted just regular blue so I went over it with the removed the, the paint that was here on the midsole and did a white base coat a white base coat I hit it with the royal with the royal blue five and the maize yellow, and you can see the white uh, base coat brings the colors out. They're a lot more vivid, so it doesn't look dull. Here's the other side here, and I went ahead and uh, redid the uppers on them because they were real shiny and the paint was caked on there. You can tell. So I just acetoned it all off and hit it with the with the flat white. I think I did like two or three coats. It wasn't too heavy. Just light coats, just to bring the color out a little bit, just so they don't look as aged as they they were. You see this little stain right here? It's inside the netting, so I couldn't get it out of there. But it's just something that. Can be fixed. So here's the other shoe here. And I did the same thing, just hit it with the white base coat, Royal 5 and Maze. And we did the uppers. I didn't do the tote, the tote cap here. I left it alone. So that's the only thing I didn't touch on these. And it, it's just a little bit yellow. It's not too bad. Yeah, so that's pretty much the shoe. And uh, it's not a bad investment for $22. I could easily flip these for 80, 90, probably 100 and over if I wanted to, but I think I'm gonna keep them. I haven't made up my decision yet so and I did go ahead and pick up um, the lace stocks I got them from eBay as well as the laces I think uh, the laces were like seven dollars I'm not sure I know the lace stocks were like nine dollars because I get them from the same seller on eBay he always hooks them up because he's got um, multiple colors and any any um, replacement that you're looking for, he has it on the store. So that's where I get all my lace locks from. And uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up the restoration. And uh, we'll see what the next project's going to be. I haven't made a decision on what I'm going to pick up. And anyway, I'll catch you on the next one.